Hi, I'm Richard, and I want to take a few moments to share with you a little bit about my new book, Inside Out Healing, Transforming Your Life Through the Power of Presence. The essence of the book really is quite simple, learning to make the present moment the touchstone of your life. Because when we do that, we really are connected to timeless intelligence, we're really connected to an energy source that's always available to us, but we're constantly cutting ourselves off from. And that's what the book is about, how we cut ourselves off from our deeper life flow. At times, we do it habitually all the time, but at times we pay for that a lot more, especially when we're not well. The book is about healing in the sense of you accessing this deeper energy on a regular basis by learning to step away from the thoughts that carry you into the past or the future, or thoughts that cause you to think of yourself in limited ways or put you into emotional turmoil because of conflict and struggle with other people. But also the book is about feeling. You know, we are not only thinking creatures, we are feeling creatures. Feeling is an essential mode of consciousness. And yet some of us, most of us, and I know this is true for my life, there are feelings that are so difficult for us to stay with, especially when we're ill, especially when we're in an emotional crisis or a relationship crisis. At a time when we really need to be able to hold these feelings, they chase us into places that make us smaller, make us defensive, make us reactive. And the book is about learning to be able to hold these difficult feelings and find your way to that place where you are most connected to joy, to the simplicity of being, to what I call radical aliveness, to a simple sense of flow, in a natural sense of gratitude. You know, we all look out at our world caring about what happens, caring about whether we can make this a world in which all of us want to participate, in which there's room for all of us, and, we're, and we see that there's so much conflict in the world. And in this book, I try to present what I feel is a timeless approach to the basic dynamic of how our minds not only help us in so many ways, but hurt us in so many ways and how our feeling nature can restore us to deep intelligence if we stop being afraid of so many parts of what we feel. So I hope you'll take time with this book. I think you'll find the case histories in the book will speak to some of your own life processes, and there are many. I think the map and model for how to do the work is as clear as I've been able to make it, and will really give you a way of practicing and having a path to restore yourself to the present moment and the wholeness of your own being in the present moment. You know, without the stories we tell ourselves, life is really very full. It's not really our situation that is the problem. It's what we tell ourselves about the situation. So this book will help you set yourself free of what you don't need to be doing to yourself anymore. And I hope that as many people find their way to this book, it's part of that deeper movement everywhere on planet Earth to wake up, to awaken to our true nature, and to make this a world in which all of us want to live and celebrate.